16-year-old Charlotte Hart is beyond her parents' control. She's looked at her food. Obviously, they've been drinking because you can smell it. And it really stinks. It does. And they've just gone out. And they've leave to clear up all their mess. Parents piss me off. Just all loads of bullshit, really. Just keep going on and 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 on at me all the time. Just for nothing, really. She will shout and she'll be aggressive. She'll slam doors. She'll try to, like, overpower me. And I think she knows she can overpower me. It just irritates me so much. She's just so stupid. She just walks all over me, doesn't yeah. she? She's got no respect for me. None whatsoever. <laughs> it's tiring, it's draining. Complete battle. That I'm, I'm not winning. Maypen, Central Jamaica, the Rose family. The Roses believe a relentlessly strict household is the only way to bring up children. Which way are you going? Come this way! There are rules of the house, they have to respect the rules, they have to obey the rules. When they obey the rules, there are consequences. Basically, right that's, that's true, that's true. The Roses believe in physical punishment Sorry. for children, absolute obedience to parents, and that everyone in the family should earn their keep. Discipline is a key in everything that you do. Without discipline and the Father above, you will not make it. Because you have to have discipline starting from the home. How is everything? Hi, Sam. Hi, Charlotte. Hello. Okay. Here's your mommy. This is your room, Charlotte. And those are your sister. For Charlotte, it's all too much. I just want to go and I just don't want to be here. It's the first time Charlotte's been away without her parents. Right now, Charlotte is crying, but that doesn't say that I'm going to be, oh, you can do what you want to do. No, it doesn't happen that way. The rules remain. She could be crying to um, say, well, I'm going to manipulate them. But that's not going to happen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be even firmer. I'm going to be firmer. In Jamaica, a state education is seen as a privilege rather than a right. For Sharon, underachievement is not an option. In Jamaica, you go to school to get an education, to be a professional person, have a job. Education is, is a key to success. Principal Joan Wint runs a tight ship. So we have rules, and we have regulations, and the students um, have to abide by them. The teen's first task is to write a poem and an essay beginning with the line, Jamaica is... The essay is to test their level of articulacy, expression and concentration. Charlotte's attracting the attention of the teachers. No, but it is. I'm sitting here in silence for two hours. I'm not doing it. End of. Unprecedented. We've never had a child who's so openly defined. It's not just the way it is done here. If you, it's an examination. You have to sit and write and do some work. And if you're not doing it, then you have to go to the principal's office. Mm, let's go then. Mm, I need to get my bag. Thank you. It is here that you are not writing the exams. Yeah. You don't have a choice. Yeah, but I'm just I'm, It doesn't matter what you like or what you don't like. It's what is required of you. Why? You can't force me Listen to do to me. it. Listen to me. I cannot force you to put your pen to paper. Exactly. But I'm so why are you punishing me for it? It's not punishing. Is it something that is outside of your competence to do? I don't understand that. Is it that you are unable to do the exercise? I'm not, no, I'm not stupid. I just don't want right, to do exactly. it. Exactly. So then, so you are just being defiant. Please, let's talk in my office. You either decide to do it, or at the end of school, you will sit and do a detention in which you will write the exam. Take your hand from your hips, please. Thank you. This is ridiculous. It may be ridiculous, but that's required of you. It really is. It does not matter what you think. So decide. It's a choice. I'll do it, but I ain't writing loads. I'm not going to write. I'm, I'm well, whatever you write, but you go to the exam room and you do it. She's going back to the room and she's going to write the exam. Okay. 
I don't know if I've ever had in my 36 years anybody saying to me, well, you can't make me do it. I don't think I've ever had that. I don't think I've had that experience. Charlotte eventually commits her views on Jamaica to paper. And finds that once she starts, she can't stop. I wrote well loads actually. Didn't write what was meant to write, I just wrote about how I felt. And I feel better now for running all down. The teens have only been at the school a few hours and there's a problem. Sharon has been called back in by the principal. The essay that Charlotte wrote earlier is a direct challenge to everything Principal Mrs. Wint stands for. Her language. He doesn't know why children are respectful. Yeah, yeah, respectful my ass. The people back home don't take no shit. So I don't see why these children should. Today Sam looks like a total dick. And um, again she's pissed off and she's not taking no shit the fact that what she wrote was unacceptable. And you know, the school does not put up with it. Could you ask Charlotte to come in? Thank you. Have a seat, Charlotte. Mm. Um, how do you express annoyance? Do you think that annoyance should be expressed in appropriate ways? Not in appropriate ways. In appropriate ways. Was your annoyance expressed in an appropriate way? No, miss. Why did you choose to use inappropriate language? Because I was annoyed, really. People who use inappropriate language, expletives, filthy words, what does that tell about that person? That they're not a very nice person, really. Who does it reflect on worse? Your home or yourself? Myself. Yourself. Do you hate yourself? No. No. So why do you want to do yourself something that is negative? You shouldn't, eh? No. It's about choosing. You know what's right, you know what's wrong. And in your annoyance, you thought of hurting somebody else. But in the end, it was your reputation that got hurt. You see? So I want you to think and be more responsible as you make your choices. I think you deserve to apologize to Mrs. Wilkes. Sorry. No, 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 no. Come on, a good apology. You addressed her. I'm sorry for what I did, it was wrong. You addressed her, Mrs. Wilkes. Mrs. Wilkes, I'm sorry for what I did. It was wrong and I shouldn't have done it. And it was unfair to the other like, people around me who could hear me. And I shouldn't have done it.